Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about my thyroid results. So I received my results at the end of last week, but I waited to schedule, uh, well, I didn't wait to schedule the appointment, but I got in for my appointment today to talk to the doctor to discuss my results because I was confused because I was in the normal range, right? And I'm like, okay, I need to talk to someone because the fact I've been carnivore and before I took those blood tests, I had been carnivore for about six weeks and I want to know how that would have affected those tests depending on those results. But I'm glad I didn't just look at that and say, oh, I'm in the normal range, so everything's good. Because I know I'm not feeling great. So I was thinking, there's so, the only thing I've come down to that might be something with my thyroid, unless there's something, a larger problem. And she was looking at the results and she's like, well, she's like, you're a little low, but you're not low enough for hypothyroidism that... I can prescribe you any medications. And she was telling me what the ideal numbers are for my age, which is so helpful when you're actually able to talk to someone and say, what are the ideal numbers for anyone that's my age? Because those ranges are quite a bit. And she's like, okay, these numbers are low. These numbers are high. It looks more like you're close to, but I can't prescribe any medication. And I like, I don't want any medication. My whole point is trying to get, stay away from medication and not go on medication. So I told her I started carnivore on the 1st of July. And I didn't know if that would be a factor because one of their suggestions were to do an autoimmune protocol diet. Well, with the autoimmune protocol diet, there's a lot of things that are eliminated. They're already eliminated with carnivore. So alcohol is eliminated. Grains are already eliminated. Gluten, legumes, soy, nightshades, uh, seeds, sugars. Those are all eliminated already with carnivore. And like some of the things that I was doing at the beginning of July I was still adding my sugar substitutes, which that's not allowed. Uh, that's one of the things I, she said, I would need to make sure I eliminate, which I haven't had any for a while. So, uh, and then caffeine, which is great because I was already switching to decaf because I was noticing differences just in myself going from decaf to regular, uh, and seed oils, which there's some carnivores that use seed oils, although they try to stay away from it. So seed oils are just a, a no. So those are some things that kind of, those are a few of the things that kind of sneak in on carnivore as, or as you're transitioning to carnivore that she was like, they, they need to be eliminated. Now, the two things, well, if you're just carnivore with the dairy and eggs and stuff, the two things that you are allowed are the dairy, which I'm already trying to eliminate on that process this last week, the process of eliminating, and eggs. Now, eggs is going to be my, my biggie, because my biggie is eggs. So I'm going to attempt this. And I have a whole new reason. I'm not just doing it just to try it out. I'm doing it as a suggestion from a doctor to prevent myself from possibly having to end up going on medication. And she did say, like, do this for at least three months. Come back, get tested again. She wants me to do antibodies because part of it was I was already on carnivore and those were still my blood results. And she's like, you, at that point where it should be long enough, you should show improvement. 
but so depending on where it was before obviously they're not exactly sure okay i didn't start it at the best optimal time i should have i should have tested it before going carnivore got it i'd still be doing another test later so this is what i'm going to do for the next three months september october november woohoo hey to go through some fun holidays and i might as well just stick with it through right on through she said three to six months so i, I want I don't have the patience. I'm going to test myself after three months to see where I'm at to see if I can start adding some things in uh, because we were talking about eliminating things and then bringing things in one by one. So that is where I'm at. So I am so thankful that I got tested. I am so thankful. I, even if I would have had the full panel results at my local doctor's office, I doubt I would have had the suggestions that um, I received because they are uh, thyroid specialists at Paloma Health. And I love the fact that I didn't get the whole, oh no, you can't do carnivore. She was like, oh yeah, that is great. Now implement that with the uh, autoimmune protocol and just eliminate those few additional things. And I'm like, oh. And this is kind of what I wanted to hear, but not what I wanted to hear. I wanted to, one way I want to sit there and say, oh yeah, you're fine. You're, it's a, it, there's nothing wrong with you. But then another, but I'm like, I like to, I like the honesty and the transparency of this is where you are for your age. This is where that your levels should be. You're in that normal range, but you are on the lower end. And I love that just complete transparency, explaining everything. I don't normally get that on the different doctors that I've gone to locally. I don't get that full explanation. And just for, for her to say, we want you to try a diet and changing diet and exercise routine first before any medications. I'm like, that's exactly, I'm not looking for medications. So I was really happy with that. I was happy with that part. My hard part is going to be giving up eggs eggs are my staple. I just got done saying that in my last video about the beef and eggs and the eggs just help with the texture and the moisture. And this is going to be a toughie. I, oh, this is going to be about as bad as coffee and plain water. Plain water was horrible. Just trying to get, that's why I do, I do sparkling water for that reason. So it's going to be a toughie but we'll get through it and I'm going to keep you keep giving you guys the updates on where I'm at how things are going and my carnivore journey because if I'm not noticing any differences she uh also suggested another uh, a test an antibody test as well just to it, it could still end up being a, a thyroid problem that's just not showing up in this panel of tests. So we go to another additional panel of tests, which I was doing some research and there's another one after that to go to if um, there aren't improvements. So I've been reading up on that quite a bit on and off, like jumping around through different parts of a, a book and, <laughs> and trying to figure out how do I read these results and am I what, what are the things that are I'm supposed to be looking out for and watching out for? because there's so many different things that uh, you go to different doctors and it could end up being a thyroid problem, but they're not necessarily trained about to learn about thyroid and be able to put those different combinations of different symptoms together. So that has been interesting. I will be starting this. I just made a whole bunch of hard boiled eggs and my kids don't like hard boiled eggs. So I will be getting those eaten up and I plan on starting this protocol starting September 1st. So the goals that I had just talked about, <laughs> I am going to be tweaking some more and probably doing some, a few more things I want to record on a daily basis just to track my improvement for, um, 
thyroid functions and see how that all goes. So thank you for sticking with me. If you have more questions, I will put the link to the website that I use to order the home test. Um, and obviously I'll keep you updated. If you are looking for support or you are on this keto carnivore journey and looking for additional support and help and just someone to check in with, I'm going to have a link down below for uh, an accountability group that I'm putting together because this is something that I've done in different workplaces and work settings with coworkers. And it's a little different when it's all online. And I want to do a text a group through WhatsApp. And so everyone can help each other stay accountable, motivate each other. I've done this with other groups and it's just helpful when you are about to go somewhere and you can send a message to a group and say, I'm about to go out. I'm really nervous about what options are, are going to be. I'm really nervous about if somebody asked me this or asked me that, what to say. And you'll get all kinds of responses back just to help you out. And you have people that are sitting there saying, I'm going to check in on you afterwards. And when you know there's someone that says they're going to check in on you and they'll ask you, you gonna, when are you going to be back? How many hours? Is it going to be a one hour day, two hours? Is it going to be a, a, a day? Do I, do I need to check on, in on you then? You are so much more accountable. And then I'm also going to have weekly support groups and Zoom meetings where checking in and discussing different protocols and different things. So go to that of the link below to check that out as well because we're all in this together, no matter where you at on, on your journey, you, for your proper human diet, what you, you need, it doesn't necessarily need to be carnivore. My kids are more keto and they have their little treats here and there. Obviously I had garlic bread in my freezer. And, um, so we're all on this journey together. We're all learning together and we can definitely learn from one another because I know I've learned from others that have been, been on this journey and made connections about responses their body had that I had not thought of and said, oh, I might need to try that. I'm glad I went through those, oh, I might need to try that moments because otherwise I'm not sure if I would have sat down with the doctor and they would have said, these are all the things you need to eliminate. I'm not sure I could have done it if I didn't already have most of them crossed off the list already. And my, my biggest one is eggs. That is going to really be tough. This will be going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting couple months. My taste buds will have to change. <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you for joining me and thank you for your support. And we will see you next time. Thanks.